So here is our new drawing, the drawing that we're going to be working on uh, this session. And there's two views of it. This is kind of looking uh, down on top of it. And this is looking from the backside up underneath it. <clears throat> so there's two views of the same object. Uh, it has two parts to it, this base. <clears throat> and then there's the top half of this circle that clamps down on top of it. Um, so there's two main parts and then there's two um, hex head cap screws that go down through and lock this top piece to the base. So this is what we're going to be working on tonight. It is a challenging piece and um, it'll, it'll challenge us tonight. Okay, uh, so let's take a look. It looks like it's 12 inches long total. Uh, it says that six inches to the center. So we know the circular part is located uh, centrally. Um, this one, let's see here. It looks like from the base, we go up to the center point here. The height from base up to center is 4.833. Um, looks like the material thickness on the front edge is 13 sixteenths and the center gap here is 1.760. Doesn't tell us this back gap. So what we're going to do is we're going to create this measurement and then this measurement and then this is whatever is left over. Um, tells us the height of the gap here. Uh, we have a spline. This will be a challenge, the spline, because it's got a rounded top edge to it. All right, let's see if we can complete this. So basically, it's going to be um, three different drawings. This drawing, this drawing, and then the drawing of the cap screw, or the hex head cap screw. That'll be a third drawing. So there's three parts to this. Um, and then we'll put this thing together. So this may, depending on how long this takes, um, this may end up being a, a multi-evening or a multi-class uh, project. We may end up doing this in more than one class. Okay, so this is what we're going to be working on tonight. So this drawing is in inches. So as we start a new part, you want to make sure that we're dealing with inches, pounds, seconds. And I'm going to start, I think, on the right plane. I'm going to extrude a cut, or sorry, extrude a boss base on the right side. And I'm going to make a rectangle. This is going to be the base. The rectangle size is going to be three and three eighths, so that's 3.375. And the height is 2.5. Exit. And this thing is 12 inches long. Change to 12. Good. Now let's cut that slot out of it. So let's do an extrude cut with a rectangle. Make sure we start on the bottom. And we know the distance between here and here is 13 sixteenths. And it tells us the distance from here to here is 1.76. And we'll leave whatever this remains is whatever it is. And uh, we know that the height from here to here is one and three fourths, so 1.75. We're done with that and we're going to cut it through all. 
All right, so the easy part is done. <laughs> Everything else is uh, kind of challenging. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to draw along this back edge here. <clears throat> I'm going to draw the, the circular part <clears throat> against the back edge and then I'm going to extrude it forward equal to the thickness of this right here, whatever this thickness is. So I need to figure out what this thickness is because it shows in the middle that the surface, the inner surface here is even with the inner surface of this. So I actually need to know what this distance is here. Um, so I guess I can take, let's see. I need to take and calculate out. Let me write this down here, where's my pen? I want the whole thickness, which is 3.375 minus uh, 13 16ths, which is 0 0.8125. And then take that answer and minus 1.76. Okay, so let me, I got to calculate it here. So I'm going to go 3. 375 minus 0.8125, which is the, the front thickness here. And then I'm going to subtract this thickness also equals. So that's 2.5625, and then take that minus 1.76 equals 0.8025. Okay, so this right here is 0.8025. Okay. So let's see, what am I going to do here? So the spline that goes up at a 45 degree angle, that is going to be a thickness of 0.8025. Okay, so I'm going to go around to the back side, click on this face, go normal to. And just as a reference, I'm going to draw a, let's see, I know I'm going to do a, an extrude. I'm going to start by drawing a center line from, if I just hang out here until the center pops up, from here straight up, escape. And I'm going to set, let's see, it says that the center is 4.833. So I'm going to dimension this right off the bat. 4.833, whoops, 4.833, okay. So that's gonna be the center point of my main circle. And let's see, let's see, let's see, what size is this thing? The outside diameter shows on the right side it's 4.5 so I'm going to get a circle started at my new center point and I'm going to smart dimension it at 4.5 okay good And what else? It's got a hole that goes through it. That is 2.75. All right, let me get a, another hole. We're going to dimension that at 2.75. Okay. And what else do I know? Uh, 
I'm looking here. Oh, it says on the right side that it's a 45 degree angle that goes down. Okay, so let me go with a line from this point straight across to this point. Escape. Now I don't need, I don't need the top half of this or the top half of this or the inside here or the inside here. Okay. And then there's a line that goes, there's a line that goes from this corner down to this face and I'm gonna draw it over to the center point. Oops. I'm gonna draw it over to this midpoint here. Escape. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing on this side from here over to this surface and then to the midpoint. Point. Good. And now I'm going to dimension these lines. This has got to be a 45 degree angle. 45. And it should just adjust the length of it to match this measurement. I'm going to do the same thing here. This one and this one. 45. Good. And so now we've got this piece here and to make it let's see here to make it one piece I'm actually going to trim out this as well okay so there's our one piece okay and I think we're doing okay here so let's exit that. It's not going to go this way. It's going to go the opposite direction, that direction. And it's going to go, we, we figured out it's going to go 0 0.8025. So this is 0 0.8025. And check mark. Okay, so this is the front of what this, um, that's what the front view looks like, but there's a big cutout right here, a big cutout. And that cutout goes all the way up until it hits this face. So that cutout, let me see what the size of that cutout is. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. Three and three eighths radius. So that's six and three fourths diameter. Okay, so I'm gonna go to this face now and I'm gonna go extrude cut with a circle hang on in this one it's the same center point and it's going to be down in here somewhere and the size of this is going to be six what did i say 6.75 6.75 enter and i only need to cut out this shape right here. I don't need this top part. So I'm going to get a line from Okay, I'm just going to draw it longer than needed. I'm going to go from here all the way over to here, this corner. Good. Escape. And now trim. I'm going to get rid of this half and this half and this top half. So all I'm left with is this bottom Crescent, is that a crescent? Anyways, part of a circle. Um, and I think that's it. So let's go escape, or exit, not escape, exit. And we're gonna go up to, up to next? No, not up to next. Uh, up to surface, and I'm gonna indicate that this is my surface by clicking on it. And then check mark. Yes, that's correct. All right, good. Um, now we're gonna build backwards. So let's go from here. Now we're gonna build towards us on this back part. And let's see if we can do that. So let's go extrude boss. We're gonna start with a circle. 
And I'm going to start at the same center point again. So we're going to start here and go to here. It's going to be our first one. Second one is going to go from the same oops, from the same center point out to this corner. Okay, good. And I get to trim it again the same way I did last time. So now I'm going to go across this whole thing with a line, escape, and trim this top half, this top half, this piece. Okay, so now we're, we have this U. Okay. And it's going to go, let's see, it goes out from here. It goes out, oh, it's three and a quarter from here. So from this face out this direction, it's 3.25. So I need to take 3.25 minus the thickness of this face right here. So I know how far to come from here out. So minus point eight zero two five. So let me get my calculator back out. I need to go three point two five minus point eight zero two five equals two point four four seven five. So that two point four four seven five is how far from this face out we're going to extrude this. Okay. So, all right, so let's go exit sketch. Yep, and this piece right here is going to come out 2.4475. Check mark. And that'll give us a total measurement from this face all the way back to this face of 3.2. Two five, like it says on the uh, on the drawing itself. Okay, now we have some cylindrical pieces we're going to put here and here. Hopefully, these merge together okay. Uh, so let's see. I want to. I want to. Do an extrude boss with a with a circle, and I'm going to start that. So I'm just kind of guessing somewhere right in here, about like that. Okay, and I'm only going to draw this once and then mirror it to this side. So I'm going to. Before I go too much farther, I'm going to put in a, from the midpoint here, I'm just going to put a, a center line in, and I'll use that as my mirror line to mirror this over to here. Okay, so let's put this, let's make this circle the right size and then put it in the right location. So it says that it should be a 7 8 radius. So 7 8 that would be, so the diameter of that would be 14 8 so that would be one and three fourths. Okay. So let's go smart dimension. The size of this should be 1.75, one and three fourths. And then from, let's see, one and five eighths from the face of this to here. Okay. So um, from here. From the face of this to the center of this should be one and five eighths. So one point six two five. And then from the center line, it should be two inches over. So from center over to here should be two inches. Good, good. And it's fully defined, so we're all set. So now let's take and let's go mirror. Entities to mirror is going to be this circle. 
and mirror about this line. Okay, good. Okay. And we only need this, this part of the circle right here. So I'm going to trim everything else off. Um, maybe I should have waited to mirror it over. Um, I'm going to draw a line. Two here, and then over, just over this direction. Okay, now that gives me things to trim. So let me trim this piece and this piece and this piece. Okay, so I'm left with this shape here. Yeah. Okay, I have to do the same thing over here. I probably should have waited and done this and then mirrored just that piece over. But uh, obviously I'm not that not that smart. Okay, so let's try this again. So from here, I'm going to go from up here on this line, I'm going to go down to this corner. And then I'm going to go over, oops, over, just over here, escape, trim. I'm going to get rid of this little piece. And this piece. And this piece. So I'm left with just that. All right, good. So now we're all done with that. So we can exit. Let's spin this sideways. Nope, we want to go the opposite direction. So click on this. And the height of that, I haven't even checked that out yet. The height of that is one and three eighths. So that would be 1.375. And oh, hmm. that probably wasn't the best idea. Probably was not the best idea because look what I did. What did I say? Line 1.375. That didn't work. Unable to create this feature because it would result in zero thickness geometry. I don't even know what zero thickness geometry means. But I want them to merge. I don't want them to be. Um. Okay, I'm not real happy with this, and I probably should have uh, figured this out before starting my recording, but obviously that's not going to work. So I am going to right mouse click on this and delete that whole option. And I'm going to I'm going to right mouse click on this and delete that option. I'm going to start fresh on this and hopefully I can figure it out correctly. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm going to go normal to this, right? And I want to 
extrude the boss base with a circle starting right in here somewhere. And we said that the size of that circle is seven eighths. So smart dimension it. So the radius is seven, so that's 1.75 is the size of the diameter. Radius was seven eighths, so the diameter is 1.75. And then we said from the face to the center is one and five eighths. So we said from the face here to the center is one and five eight, so one point six two five. <clears throat> and we said from oh hold on. I want to draw that center line in. <clears throat> Escape smart dimension from the center line to the center. That was two inches. <coughs> Got a frog in my throat. I'll take a drink of water. All right. Now, I wonder if we can take <coughs> and them off this section right here, this little segment of the circle. So now I'm going to go with a line on this line and just draw it through to here. Okay. And I'm going to trim this half of the circle, this, and this. Okay, so that's what I want. Sure, all this works. Um, okay, so now I'm going to mirror this part over to here. Let's see if we can get this correct. So the part that I'm mirroring is this and this about this. All right, so far it looks good. And I want to Exit. And I don't want to go up. I want to go down. And I want to go down one and three eighths, so 1.375. And I, I think that's going to look okay. Let me just double check my size and say 1.375. Good. Okay. Cross your fingers. All right, it worked. Much better than the last time. Good, good. Now uh, let's cut our holes through this now. So let's go here and let's go extrude cut with a circle. And it's the same center point. And smart dimension, the size of the hole is a, hold on, seven eighths. So seven eighths. Same thing over here. Seven eighths. Exit. And it's through all. All right, good, good. And let's see, we've got a chamfered edge here and here. So we're gonna go chamfer. And that's a one eighth chamfer. So 0.125, enter at a 45 degree. It's gonna be this edge and this edge. Uh, 
Yeah, that's good. Uh, looks like the last thing is. Um, no, we've got. Okay, so there is. We've actually got to make a cut here. Normal two. We've got to make a cut through this part and through this part up to this face. So we're going to go extrude cut with a circle, start it at the center point, go out to the edge. And yeah, that looks good. I'm going to do the same thing here from the center out to the edge. And let's see, exit. And we have to go. Yeah, uh, we have to go up, up to, up to surface. And it's going to be this surface. Okay. Hmm. That did not work up to this surface. Okay, I didn't do that right. Let's figure out what the problem is here. Wait, it did work. No, it did not. Hey there. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. Okay, I figured out what I was doing wrong. I need to go from this face out, not in. So let's go back to this. Let's go on this sketch. We're going to extrude a cut. And I want the cut to go the opposite direction, like that. Yeah, that's a little. What? Oh, why is that like that? Did I dimension something wrong? Hmm. All right, I think I'm going to have to pause my video and figure out what calculations I did wrong because I've got two notches here that, that should not be notched. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I figured out why we've got these trenches that we cut in the face of this. Um, so it's a, actually a, an error on the books part. So I, I don't feel too bad about that. In the book, it gives us the measurement of this piece and of this piece. And it gives us a tolerance of 1.760 to 1. Uh, 758. So there's some leeway here. Um, on the back side, there's a spline here, and it says that the thickness of the spline is uh, three fourths of an inch. But it does not tell us that the, this is equal to that three fourths of an inch. In fact, it shows us that when we cut this arc in here, it goes back to this face, and this face is equal to this face. So this cannot be three-fourths of an inch. Um, but when they calculated out the measurement for the center of this hole, they used a three-fourths of an inch measurement here to go from this face over to the center of the hole at a measurement of one and five-eighths. Because we've got a thicker piece here, ours is 0.8025, not 0.75. Because of our thicker piece, that means that the distance from here to here, the center of this arc is actually small, uh, 
this circular piece is going to be closer to this face, which is why we've got an overlap of this. So it's actually the, the book's mistake that they did not, um, they, they did a miscalculation of either saying that this face and this face were, were the same, or that this should have been 0.75. So, um, our measurements at this point are all correct. So I'm, I'm just going to leave that there, even though it wouldn't be left there, we would probably need to uh, make some different calculations to pull this piece over to the right more. Um, but anyways, for lack of time and effort, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it. Uh, we have more pressing things that we can deal with. Uh, one of those is the spline that we're going to have to put in right now. And I am going to probably struggle with this. I'm trying to figure out how to create the spline that's going to go from this bottom of this down to the corner here and make the rounded top. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say I need to draw a center line here. So I'm going to start with the center line. And What am I going to do? I am going to draw a line from this point down to here, over, and then up so that it's just past this bottom arc. I am going to take a measurement between center and this and it's going to be three eighths. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go line from this point over this way and up. Okay, and the distance from here to here has got to be three eighths as well. So a total distance from here to here is three fourths. Um, let me now draw a circle from my center point down to here. We're going to trim read out that line. Okay, so this spline has got to come from here down to here. Okay, so let me Let's see. No, I think I need to make a new need to make a new plane even with this. Okay, so let's go um, in a sketch, so I need to okay, so how about if we go a new plane 
and that plane has got to be six. If that plane is on the R end, I want to go six and three eighths inches. So parallel at a distance of six point three seven five. So that puts my plane right on this line. Okay. So now let's go normal to that plane. All right, we see our line there. Okay, good. Hopefully this works. So we're gonna go sketch with a line from here and then back down to here okay and we're gonna extrude a boss with this go the opposite direction and the distance is 0.75 What do you know? That worked. I don't like having all these things visible, so I'm gonna, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go to my plane, I'm gonna click on my plane and go hide. I'm gonna go to the sketch and do the same thing, hide. All right, good, good. Let's thread our holes here and we'll be done with this section. So, um, thread, okay. Thread location is this edge here. And up to, I'm gonna click on this section. I'm gonna go to the bottom and go to, I think this face, good. And we're going to tap using inch. This is a, I think I already have a 7 8, so 0.875. And it says that it is a, yep, 9 UNC. So 759 inch tap, check mark. Good, good. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So thread, okay, this edge up to this bottom face good. Um, and it also is an inch tap 0.875 check mark and now we just have to do some some fillets so let's go fillet 0.125 for one eighth of an inch enter and I gotta get this one. And this one. This one. This one. Just coasting back here. This. This. I'm supposed to have this edge. Uh, that's what I thought. Let me get rid of that edge. I'm going to check mark that I'm done at this point because it's giving me issues. So let's see if I can redo this. So fill it. 
me do that one. How about, oh, it did let me do that one. Good, good. And the bottom of this, hmm, more issues. So let me delete that out. Done. Sometimes if you do them in parts, it will allow it. Like I said, sometimes if you do it in parts, it'll allow it. Sometimes if you don't do it in parts, it all gets screwy. I'm not sure if it's gonna allow me to do this one or not. Yeah, that's what I figured. Because of our screw up here, it's not gonna allow, it's not gonna allow this one. Let's see if it allows this one. Yeah, did. Good. I'm try over here now. Good. Okay. Delete. Good. We'll do it in segments. Fill it. That one at all. How about this one? Doesn't like that one at all. How about this one? Not quite sure why it doesn't like some of these. I um, wonder if I got rid of this one. And did, did this one first. All right, well, oh, I still got a couple down here to do as well. I think all of these. Okay. You can see sometimes they work, sometimes you have to do them in a different order. Okay. So right now we have this part minus the little screw up there. This is part one, part one that we have completed. All right, so I'll make a couple more videos to, to finish off the, the top part and then the, the screw as well.